Hello everyone, this is Michael for you today with a really special video. I want to show you the watch collection of Andrew Tate, the guy who broke the algorithm. If you are enjoying this content, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. This will make me very happy. And now let's start with the video. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm spending, let's say, around four hours, a solid four hours a day on TikTok. And this guy, he really broke the algorithm. I don't know. Uh, every second post, it's something about Andrew Tate. And this guy has also some watches on his wrist. And today I will show you which kind of watches and uh, what is the price of these beautiful items. First of all, we are going to start with the Hublot Classic. Fusion, uh, 44 millimeter in size, and it's a chronograph with a date function, blue dial. And at this point, I cannot tell you if it's a factory set or aftermarket watch, uh, aftermarket diamonds. On the wrist, it has a great appearance. It's a big size of watch. Most of the people will tell you that you should not buy a Hublot because the resale value is definitely lower as what you paid for it. At the end, if you want to have a big watch, which, which is not so expensive, and you add some diamonds to it, the price and value what you can get. Obviously, I mean, the watch on the wrist it looks nice for sure the blue dial is nice i had the one in green there are a lot of people enjoying this kind of watch price wise the watch is listed currently between six to eight thousand euro uh, without stones if you're going for an aftermarket set it's not that expensive you need to have maybe let's say three to four thousand euro you need to spend then you have the same watch like on his wrist but there's also existing one factory set Hublot classic fusion chronograph uh, and this one you can pick up secondhand currently for around seventeen thousand euro at the end we don't need to talk about factory set is always the best choice but if you ask me should you buy a Hublot aftermarket or factory set let's say if you're spending for the aftermarket 10,000 euro and the other one costs you 17,000 euro I really need to think about it which one I should I would take so yeah these are the two choices let's move on to the next one this one uh, is a different uh, different topic here on the wrist in the private jet we see the yeah should should it be the brick Maybe. Uh, it's a fully iced out chandelier with baguette diamonds, Audemars Piguet. And with these watches, you need to know, yeah, probably Andrew is not knowing this, but this watch, there only the movement is from Audemars Piguet and also maybe the hands. Everything on this watch, is made from a goldsmith, okay? What you do is <laughs> you buy, let's say, the steel version or a dealer buys the steel version from an uh, offshore model. He takes out the movement and uh, all the other things he sells as a, a spare part. You can take a steel version, you can, yeah, you can buy any offshore model with this caliber. And then what you do is you manufacture all the diamonds by yourself. And at the end, you have a glass bottom. So you see most of the time the movement inside. But I see here from the gold push. And this is not made by Audemars Piguet. This is also not a bad thing. It's a very common. The only thing is you need to know that. Obviously, this one is not very easy to resell. But to wear it on the wrist, I saw it one time. I had it one time uh, in my hands. It's a nice watch. You get a lot of attention if you're wearing this. This 42 millimeter watch on your wrist, it's just iced out. You see, it's, a be it's beautiful on the wrist, um, but you, you will probably never sell it again very easily. Then let's move on. Oh, Oles Nada. This watch is, uh, this brand is very popular, say in Russia and in this kind of region. Oles Nada, very interesting brand. They do different kind of stuff and nobody's buying it. After all, we also have one model in stock. If you're interested in watches, go, just go on the website. We have amazing deals, especially on the, uh, we have also the Marina, Marina Chronograph. Yeah, for 5,000 euro less than the list price. This watch is uh, crazy expensive for the list price. Right now, I think you need to pay around uh, 18,000 euro. Not very easy to sell, but I like it. The, what Ulis Nadan is always doing, they have this metal plate at the bracelet. So there's this kind of, yeah, Ulis Nadan and no one else is doing it. Interesting brand. Also with this watch, it's kind of flashy and it caught your attention. Let's move on with the next one. Ah, here's a, a similar watch, just on a rubber bracelet. We have here, let's, yeah, let's Let's say, what do you have here? Probably another. Most of the time you use the ref, the, the rubber uh, offshore model. This one is uh, the first, one of the first releases from the offshore. It's the cheapest one. And the movement, yeah, you can use the movement from this one. You can also use, like we, we show it to you here, let's say a navy or other watch. And uh, the glass bottom or the movement is a little bit nicer from the rubber version. This watch right here is uh, similar, just in white gold. He uh, has also the chandelier version. Also nice watch. Watch uh, looks amazing. If you have it on your wrist, everyone th 
thinks uh, this one costs around a million. The watch or the idea of this watch with the baguette diamond stones is existing with the catalog of Audemars Piguet, at least in the past. I saw one piece with my friend Khaled in Dubai. He should still have it in stock. A beautiful model, really, really rare. And this watch is around probably 700 to a million. Depends on the model which you're looking at. Then let's move on. Another Hublot, this one is the black version. Uh, this same watch we also had in stock. It's not easy to sell. List price is quite high, I don't remember. 16,000 euro list price. Ah, I think I sold it in the past for 6,500 euro. Yeah. Uh, it has a rose gold bezel, a ceramic case, advantage, it doesn't scratch, and uh, you have a high contrast between the case in black and the rose gold, so also here a tension catcher, and currently the market value is around 8,000 euro. Not easy to sell, but at the end it fits to him. And then the one of the more expensive pieces uh, here, this is it's also crazy to buy this watch, is the skeleton double balance from Audemars Piguet, the Royal of Skeleton Double Balance, iced out. So this, this thing with this iced out, in the past, let's say we go to years back the the watch cost back then around two years back was uh, 80,000 euro so back then if you had the watch 80 80,000 euro you put some stones on it and the selling price was let's say I don't know maybe 15,000 euro more okay if I sell you the watch and you say okay I want to have diamonds on it the manufacturing process will cost you around 15,000 euro more or less okay what we had the problem what we have right now is this skeleton got so expensive over 200,000 euro so now we have the problem that the people who are buying iced out they don't have the budget to go for uh, let's say 210, 220,000 euro watch. So what we are seeing now in the market, the iced out watches are cheaper than the plain ones. Yeah, so it's not very easy also with this piece to sell. It looks amazing. Is it necessary to have an iced out, aftermarket iced out watch in this price region? No. Uh, if you want to have a fun watch, just go maybe for something else which is cheaper. For him, it fits, it looks good. And uh, we also have a German rapper uh, or had a German rapper who had this exactly this this kind of watch uh, on his wrist. Um, I'm pretty sure he sold it. But uh, yeah, let's say, let's put it like this. Also interesting piece, not very easy to sell and the double balance, one of my favorite complications. So now let's go over to the last watch here in this video. This is from Jacob & Co. And Jacob & Co, they are doing just amazing job, always going new ways. Every, in the watch business, it's most of the time always the same. Submariner, one centimeter larger, one smaller, the hand uh, red or blue or this or that. Here is something completely new. The Bugatti Chiron watch with a moving engine inside is something to look at. Uh, Andrew Tate is also driving one Bugatti uh, in a similar color. And here we have the rose gold version. If you are checking out for a price, the watch is priced between, let's say, I think the list price should be around 500, maybe a little bit more. If you actually want to buy the watch, you will probably get a good price, a good deal on it. I like this model and I think uh, Jacob & Co. did a great job on this watch. If we are now recap the whole collection of Andrew Tate, you will see that every single model is straightforward and um, yeah, really something which catches your attention. Very interesting collection. Let's check out what he will buy maybe next. Um, and I will see him on uh, my For You page. And maybe you will see me on your For You page. And if you are subscribing to his channel, thank you very much for watching. And then I see you guys next time. Bye bye.